Hey, Lauren Hughes here with Integrity Home Group and Keller Williams Preferred. Today we're going to be doing the investment series and I want to talk about ROI or your return on investment. This is actually my favorite number. This is the number that I use. This is the first number I use in all of my investments to decide yay or nay on the investment or to determine if it's even something I want to look at. And so the ROI can be... Um, calculated several different ways. And it's, in my opinion, all financial calculations are highly subjective. It's not a hard science. This is not, you know, uh, you know, advanced calculus. These are finance terms. And I would, I will argue with anyone all day that they are very subjective. And I do sometimes on YouTube. And I talk, I talk to very intelligent people that are very gung-ho on the textbook definitions to past exams for whatever they're doing. What I talk about with ROI and all of my investment terms have nothing to do with passing tests. They have to do with real life finances and my bank account. And so I modify those equations to where it makes my bank account the best. And that's how I know whether to keep investing or to uh, remove my investment and put it into something else. So basically, an ROI, your return on investment, is the percent gain or the gain that you have divided by the money that you put into it. So, and it can be either documented as a ratio or as a percent. I always go with a percent and just so you guys have some hard numbers, I go for investments of about 10%. And I go with that number uh, because if I'm going to be investing in real estate, I want it to perform at least at 10%, not, not accounting for inflation. And that's because I'm weighing the benefit, pros and cons of real estate investing compared to the stock market. But it's really, these numbers are very subjective and they all depend on your portfolio and your goals. And so... If you ever have any questions, I am not a financial advisor, but I can guide you to them or I can tell you what I've done and what I found that works for me and what doesn't work for me. And that doesn't mean it's going to be the same for you. It's just, just is how it is. It's very, investing is incredibly subjective. And for anyone that says it's not, well, um, the all the experts say it's like a coin flip unless you're Warren Buffett and, well, there's only one of him. So... When you're thinking about doing any type of investment properties, ROI, that's my go-to. That's also my opinion. I will argue all day with my business partner because he likes cash flow. And it's really just a difference of opinion. He is all about optimizing cash flow day in and day out. I care about cash flow too, but I care about my return on the investment. And I care more about getting that 10% return on physical money that I put into it. So let's say... I have a investment that is $100,000 and we're gonna pick easy numbers for my math or for math in my head's sake. So $100 or $100,000, I expect to get $10,000 out of that or 10% after all of my expenses. So whatever that ends up being, like if it's rent at $1,500 a month, that, that would be really nice if you could find that in Colorado, that will be a struggle. But if you can, go for it. And if you don't want it, tell me about it because I want to take it. Uh, so let's say it's like 15,000 a year in rent, um, minus your, you know, your realtor fee and just basic fees. And then you have another like $5,000 in expenses, HOAs, insurance, um, your pipe got broken, it, you know how it goes. So then you get $10,000 at the end after you subtract all the expenses, you're left with 10 grand, which if you divide $10,000 by $100,000, you get a ratio of 10 to one or about 10%. So that's my, that's my bare bones on ROI and how I calculate it. I will tell you a little bit more in depth about how I kind of massage those numbers because it's, it's finance, it's banking, it's creative, I think is a term, creative financing. Uh, so everything is very subjective. So thank you guys for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks.